Thank you all so much uh, for everything you've done and everything that you will do in the next eight days. Can you believe it? Eight days from now is the last day that you can cast your ballot. And I know that many of you, probably all of you, have already cast your ballots and, uh, so that you can come here and, and uh, help us. And I, you know, you are all rock stars. You have all done so much to help us. And you are also my secret weapon. You are the reason why we are going to ultimately prevail on election night. It is because of all the work that individual human beings have done reaching out to other individual human beings and encouraging them to reach out to other human beings. We always knew that we would be outspent by a lot of money. Democrats usually are. But we also knew that if we could get a group of volunteers who really cared, who really knew that it would make a difference who won on November 2nd, that we could prevail over all the money in the world. And here you all are, and on November 2nd, uh, the fruits of your labor will shine through. So thank you all very, very much. going to be very short presentations because, you know, you've got your lists. <laughs> I am so honored and delighted to have with me this morning the head of Democracy for America. Many of you probably have heard of it. I know some of you were supportive of his brother Howard's race here in Iowa. And, uh, and Democracy for America has a million members and growing every day. It is a progressive organization that carefully selects people that it wishes to support and endorse on the basis of what they think, on the basis of how they will behave in office. And uh, I'm proud to have the endorsement of DFA. I'm proud that they have, uh, that a couple of days ago, uh, DFA members across the country made about 20,000 telephone calls for our effort. And, you, you, you're doing calls. You know what kind of an effort 20,000 takes. Um, and, and I'm so glad that he came here today to uh, encourage us and to spend some time with us. Please welcome the wonderful Jim Dean. Well, thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much. And thank you from the bottom of our hearts uh, for all of you and the hard work that you're putting into this. Uh, uh, we especially shout out to uh, give a shout out to our members uh, in Iowa who uh, campaign with us vociferously uh, to get involved with Roxanne's campaign, which we are very honored uh, to have done, and we are very honored and very proud uh, to be supporting Roxanne uh, in this uh, in this campaign for United States Senate. Uh, and more importantly, uh, we're really honored that the members have done so much, have taken some time out of their own lives. Uh, to try to help and do what we can uh, to help get Roxanne elected. Um, I could extol the virtues. Uh, it, it suffice to say that most people know us as a left-leaning organization, uh, uh, DFA, Democracy for America, Howard Dean, whatever. You know, I'm fine with that stuff. But the fact of the matter is, as our executive said the other day, you know, it's never about who's the most liberal. It's really about the fighters and the truth tellers. And there are no better than there is no better fighter and truth teller who is running for Senate uh, than Roxanne, which is why she's one of the few Senate candidates that we're supporting. And by God, if there's any place, any body, legislative body in this country that really needs a fighter and a truth teller and somebody who's going to cut through some of the stuff that we saw during the health care debate, some of the things that we saw during the financial regulation debate, and a few other things. It's Roxanne Conlin. Uh, and more importantly, if there's somebody that's going to help get America out from underneath the oversized influence of big business on senators like Chuck Grassley, it's Roxanne Conlin. So this race is a lot bigger than... Uh, than here. And I know it's big for Iowa and that's important, uh, but just know that uh, the reason our folks are involved with this around the country is because they know what it means to them no matter where they live. Um, the other part of this that I want to just touch upon briefly is the work that you're doing. Because as all of you know, uh, there's been much talk about big businesses throwing in lots of money into this election, primarily for Republican candidates like Chuck Grassley, uh, trying to sway and, uh, and otherwise change uh, the outcome of this election. The weapon against that is the work that you're doing right now, uh, particularly in a state like Iowa that has early voting. Um, there is nothing more powerful, and, and, and I can tell you this because we have a huge training program that we've done for five years 
We've seen the hundreds of studies that have been done that there is nothing more powerful that either helps persuade a voter or keeps a voter's vote committed than your personal contact with a voter, whether it's by canvassing or phone banking or email. These are incredibly important. They are by far, by far the most effective ways uh, to, to persuade and get a voter or otherwise keep their commitments. And this is the work that we've got to show so that at the end of this race, not only can we say that Roxanne Conlon won, but we can also say that all of this television advertising that big business did doesn't cut it with the American people, which is really the best thing that we could do to start furthering things like campaign finance reform, which I think is important to all of us, so that we can return this government to being really one of by the people, for the people, and of the people. So uh, this is a big race. It's, it's there for a lot of reasons. And really the ground zero part of this is that personal contact that we've got to do in the next eight days to help Roxanne uh, get connected, get elected. Um, if we could just reach out to the folks we know, the folks that are on your list, to testify for this candidate in a personal way, that is what's going to get this campaign over the top. So I really appreciate all that you're doing and all that you're going to do uh, because it is certainly the hardest part of politics. Uh, it's the reason why you always see a lot of consultants hanging around a water cooler instead of doing phone banking themselves. Uh, but we don't do consultants in this campaign, which is why we love it so much. So thank you so much for doing this and really appreciate it. And let's get this one over the top. Thank you. Yeah.